Hi. I don't know, this is so, so awkward, okay. Hi everyone, my name is Deer. I am currently a translator for Dallas Fuel and I want to tell you about how I got into esports and share some tips on how to get into esports yourself as well. The biggest benefit of being a translator in an esports organization is that you get exposure to so many different roles within the company, including coaching, mental skills, broadcast, and player management. So I'll tell you some things that I did to get my first job in esports. Just like many of you guys, I started as a big fan of esports and witnessing all the struggles and all the effort that a player has to put in to become a professional player is so intriguing. It's just they need so much passion. In your daily lives, I mean, you don't really see that passion um, that commonly anymore. So that's what really gave me the drive to um, dive right into esports. But I feel like number one is honestly caring about esports. If you care enough to be committed and diligent, I feel like you're the right person um, that any esports organization is looking for. I had no idea that I was going to start translating for esports anytime soon back then. Um, and I had no idea that I was going to change my career back then as well. But uh, I just started translating. And through that experience, I realized that if I ever wanted to get an esports, that's just the best thing that I have to offer. What I realized was that the best use of my time would be finding my skill set and volunteering my time. If you're like me and have zero networking within esports whatsoever, what I had to do for my, my next step was to reach out to people and say, hey, I really like esports and I want to volunteer my time to help you out. It, that felt like the first big step into esports. Regardless of how ready you think you can be, you're never gonna be ready, really ready for that. So you just have to jump right into it. I think that's what it is. So the next big step is for you to take a risk. Go to major tournaments. Try to find a way to help an organization volunteer. Um, for me, it was going to Worlds to help a media translate interviews from Korean to English and vice versa. And that was what I considered my biggest step into esports. Personally, the purpose of going there was to really take on more responsibility and force myself to learn even more. It was not really for networking. Up to this point, I was only experienced with translating words, but I realized that the next big step was to take on um, some live translating and interpretation. My entire career in esports revolves around me reaching out and like looking for opportunities. So I continued taking risks. I continued reaching out to many different people in the industry. And eventually I got the opportunity to work for Dallas Fuel. And here I am today working for Dallas Fuel, fuel time, <laughs> fuel time. <laughs> and here I am today working full time for them. And I hope that you can find what you truly want to do in esports and I believe that you can do it as well. That sounded really weird. I, I believe you can do it too. That's what I want to say.